Hi and welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Today I thought I'll show you what I, what I'm doing. Um, there's loads of videos on YouTube how to do these. These are just with little paper, um, flowers. Let me show you. So I've done them. I'm also doing some in a Christmassy. Um, this still needs drying, but Christmassy paper. Again, I bought the pad ages ago, thinking, oh, I'll use that, I really like it. Got the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 and now I hate it. So, I'm doing as much as I can for swaps with it as possible. I'm also using the Tim Holtz um, Tattered Floral um, Big Shot die. And I'm using the little, the, I don't know, the medium one. I will be using the other flowers over time as well, so... There'll be a few more videos coming using these but just while i show you how i do mine everybody does them slightly different but the method's still the same so i've just got some water in this little plant pot cut out eight of these you just need a brad a piercing tool a piercing mat and then all you do is you cut out your eight pieces i cut out four at a time and then I literally just dunk them in, don't put them in for too long, otherwise they get really saturated. And then as you bring them out, you just screw them up. It'll work pretty fast, otherwise if, it's, if you live somewhere warm, obviously the paper will dry quicker. But it's a cool November day here in the UK, so no chance of that happening. Even with heating on, I'm still cold. But never mind. Soon be spring. Right, so once you've screwed them all up, they'll look like that. And then you just un carefully unravel them. Just place them on one top of another, and again, these will take at least 24 hours to dry if you just leave them in your room. Obviously, if you have your heating off or on, should I say, or you live in a really hot climate, then obviously, these take long less time to dry. And you just pierce them all through together, making sure you've got a nice little hole. And you put your pop your brad in the middle, making sure you get all through all eight layers, and then you open your bread up, and then you just push in your first one and you just go around putting them all in together and because you've made the paper or cardstock wet it's pliable and obviously as it dries it dries in shape so obviously you don't want to too wet otherwise it'll turn into paper mache. I don't do my bottom layer because it's already like got a bit of crinkle anyway. Um, but you can do and then I just sort of push them back out again but not fully. So they end up like that. There you go. So again these two will be you know, drying for a few hours. I'll stick them on a tray and do them and then when we come when we dry they're quite hard. And eventually one of these flowers will be going on there on my little file with some leaves, maybe Christmas sea leaves and stuff. But yeah, I will show you what I've made this as well over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, got quite a few of these to do, 
because I just want to make some for my stash, for swaps for Etsy and stuff like that. So I've got different papers and stuff. So I will see you um, very soon with another quick tutorial. I'll, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Bye now.